Yellowstone Volcano. How USGS finds signs of abnormal movement to identify danger. Yellowstone volcanic geologists who monitor U.S. supervolcanoes for signs of activity are keeping alert for unusual ground movements, which could be indicators of dangerous volcanic activity. The Yellowstone Volcano Observatory YVO, and the U.S. Geological Survey USGS, are the first line of defense against a Yellowstone eruption. For decades, Geological agencies have tracked land deformation and seismic activity in Yellowstone National Park. Ground movement is a sure indicator of danger of eruption and often precedes an impending eruption. For example, in 1994, Geologists noted rapid ground movement in the Rabaul caldera in Papua New Guinea before the volcano erupted. According to the USGS, land deformation was so great that coral reefs emerged from the sea quickly enough to strand fish in the open. A similar incident occurred in 1927 when the Fernandina volcano in the Galapagos caused the coast to rise and trapped fishing boats on the water. Geologist Beth Bartle now says in this week's edition of the USGS Caldera Chronicles, scientists are monitoring Yellowstone for signs of such activity. He said, in Yellowstone and other calderas, changes in deformation patterns from uplift to subsidence and back again are a common occurrence. By studying these changes, we hope to find out more about the subsurface conditions that cause the ground to move and can also monitor abnormal changes. Recognizing normal and unusual things is key to identifying potential dangers of future volcanic activity. The last caldera forming eruption of the Yellowstone volcano occurred about 640,000 years ago and was powerful enough to cover much of the U.S. in ash. But the volcano hasn't been fully active since then and the Earth continues to change as tectonic plates shift, rub together and run into each other. Land movement is the main reason why mountains and volcanoes exist. Caused by the collision of tectonic plates that push the Earth upward. When magma pools near these impact points, volcanoes like Yellowstone are born. The magma itself and heated underground water systems also contribute to the movement of volcanic systems on the surface. Movement caused by pressure changes in a volcano's plumbing system is known as deformation. Precise instruments and GPS stations placed around Yellowstone can track this movement to get a better picture of what's happening below. Ms. Bartle said, Sometimes, the movements are so big that we can see them with our eyes. In the spring of 1980, the bulge on the north side of Mount St. Helens grew by more than a meter, about three feet per day, as magma pushed up the mountain. Although the magnitude of the movement was measured with precise distance measurement instruments, the increasing bulge was clearly visible to the naked eye. Mount St. Helens erupted on May 18, 1980, starting with the collapse of the bulge.